Well, before the play clock runs out, we need one last round of hot topics with my friends. My panel is back and better than ever, Terry, Lawyer, and Rebecca. So I'm excited because this whole hot topics is going to be very football based. Oh, okay. Good. Because, you know, I'm nope. a football expert. Not at all. <laughs> um, so, Lawyer, I, I have to just ask you because we mentioned earlier in the show that you won a Super Bowl, but we kind of just like, oh, he won a Super Bowl, no big deal. Uh, that was with the Patriots, right? Yeah, yeah, we won the first one. In, or, in, in order to win all those and become a dynasty, you got to win the first one, yeah. Amazing. Uh, incredible. Yeah. What was it? What were those days like? You know what? It was kind of like the relationship me and uh, me and Terry had. The, the really, really good teams have really good synergy. The locker room is, is really, really tight. We yeah. hung out together. And uh, we just kind of did it organically. You know, we got we, we grew d during the uh, d during the season. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the year, because of all the hard work and, and, and our dedication towards each other, we were the one holding the trophy at the end. That's amazing. Yeah. What was it like playing with Tom Brady? Well, at the time, it was more the defense that won the game. Oh, he wasn't, okay. he wasn't oh, Tom Brady all right. yet. All being right. honest. I'm here for that. Honest. That's honest. No, but you know, really with Tommy, um, he was the missing piece. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, and that was evident. And uh, obviously, he grew into uh, being uh, the best player in probably all of in NFL history. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the time, he was young. He yeah. was hungry. He reminded he re reminded myself of me. You know, yeah. um, he felt like he was overlooked. And when he got his shot, he was ready. And mm -hmm. he said he wasn't giving it back. Wow. For the rest of history. And you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I feel like in order to grow, for a plant to grow, for something to thrive, it has to be in a good environment. And it's clear that the team gave him that. It's all about the environment. Yeah. You know, Pete, ha Pete has a good environment down there, down there at the VMAC. So. Yes, he does. He does, yes. But, uh, really quickly before I, I switch topics, I, I understand that you and Tom made a cameo in a movie together? You just heard that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but they yes. didn't hear it. Yes. it was, I'm sharing, because yes. sharing is caring, lawyer. Speaking of sharing. I get, I get a, a small check from the Actors Guild every year for like, you know, 25 cents or something. <laughs> uh, it was Stuck on You. Yeah. Uh, Matt Damon, Greg Kinnear, they were the Siamese twins, uh, a, far, uh, a Fairly Brothers twin. Uh, get, movie. Movie, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, I was uh, the, the technician behind the scenes in an uh, atmosphere like New Day. And yeah. I made Cher's butt bigger, <laughs> and he was—he was my assistant. He was the Tom was Tommy was your yeah. assistant. Yes, I'm by the way God. calling him Tommy for the rest of I my know. day. Tommy. Tommy. That's a flex. <laughs> um, all right, well, thank you for sharing that. No problem. Switching gears now, let's talk about another great uh, all-time quarterback. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. It is yeah. really, really hard to see what happened. He had a season-ending injury after just four plays, and if anyone was watching Hard Knocks, I mean, we were all following it. He, he was just phenomenal, but, I mean, this is so sad, right? It's devastating. I mean, I think you look at everything that the New York Jets went through to get yeah. him in camp, mm -hmm. just to get him away from Green Bay and everything that he went through to decide to come back and play again. Yeah. And the preparation, Lawyer, you can speak to that, with the preparation that it takes to get to be a professional quarterback. Mm -hmm. And then for four plays later, for it to all come to an end, when we talk about winning championships, uh, part of winning the championships is being healthy at the end. Yeah. yeah. And uh, day one, their, their starting quarterback, who they invested everything in, mm -hmm. put all the chips on the table all in, eggs. Yeah. is gone. But the Achilles, you know, is probably one of the reasons why I retired when I did. Mm -hmm. You know, I was 15 years in, but when I woke up in the morning, it was the Achilles that I couldn't, I just, it took 30 minutes to fire up. It's like that rubber band. Oh, wow. You know, you know, if you keep doing this to a rubber band, eventually it'll snap. It's the old man disease. I'm sorry. Oh. Do you guys think he'll ever play again? He could. I think he could. I think the way that he, he prepares himself, and he has since he's been a professional, mm -hmm. um, he could. I don't know if necessarily mm -hmm. he wants to, because, again, Laura, you can speak to this. That oh, when, when, you're, when you're in that position where you're first injured, there's mm -hmm. a, a road to recovery like none other. Like, just to be able to walk is a, a yeah. hell of a recovery, right? Yeah. Then, to re, then to become the professional athlete level, elite uh, level that you were at. It's a, it's a hey, here's the deal. So we don't know, hmm. okay? Yeah. But I see, I predict happening the Tom Brady effect. The more you talk about him, you know, being mm -hmm. old and not being able to do it mm -hmm. is the reason why he will come back. Oh, you know? that'll push okay. you. You know, guys like that, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady or whatever, you know, they – 
if you just be quiet, they'll walk <laughs> off and go into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You talk about it, they're like, oh, I'm coming oh, back. No, yeah. Oh, you think no, I can? You don't think I can? Uh, let me show you. Um, I got to ask really quickly, this injury has reignited calls to get rid of artificial grass mm. in football stadiums. Now, I don't know enough about it to know why that is the case. So can you explain that and tell us if you think this should happen? Well, anything man-made can break. Mm -hmm. ah. And uh, artificial turf is artificial, right? Um, I'd rather play on, you know, something that's natural. Mm -hmm. It's not as fast, yeah. and uh, the maintenance is, is you know, Expensive. more with, with mm -hmm. grass and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I, I, I prefer grass. Yeah, and they've done a lot as far as technically getting field turf better than yeah. it used to be, because mm -hmm. the stuff we mm -hmm. used to play on was basically concrete with carpet on it <laughs> back in the day when I used to play. <laughs> I still got burns. Literally, I got burns, burns from showing it. But scars. Wow. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I would rather play on grass, personally, yeah. if I was still playing, but. If I was going towards the ground at like 50 miles an hour, helmet or not, I would want to be hitting grass and not turf, <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right, we only have about a minute left, but I just want to ask real quickly, I mentioned how Aaron Rodgers was featured on Hard Knocks. Um, we all watched that, but if the Seahawks did a Hard Knocks, who mm. would audiences fall in love with? Uh, well, I would say Lockett. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, oh, that's Rebecca's fine. man. I, I, I would, yeah. say, I would say Lockett. I think the star of the show would pro probably be uh, Jamal Adams oh. because he's, he's, you know, loquacious. Yeah. And, okay. mm -hmm. You know, funny, brash. Did you, you know? just say loquacious? He said loquacious. That's, that's a word. I'm back, I'm back, wow. did, I, did I tell you I'm back in school trying to finish that's my right. degree? Yes. And you're done? Yes. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm learning. That's Epic. No, no, don't, don't clap yet. <laughs> it's, it's, you're clapping as it, you're in there. It's a struggle. I'm all, oh man, things are But no, um, so I, I'm just thinking about the characters. I think Pete. Yeah, Pete of course. would be a good. You know, Pete would be Gino. good because people would see Gino. Um, I, I love his story. I love. Uh, it, 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 the Seahawks have a cast of characters. They yeah. a bunch of characters. I hope they good. do it then. I'm gonna throw out one more. Oh, DJ Dallas. Okay. DJ Dallas He's was good. He's got a great personality. He's been on New Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And all DK right. Metcalf. All right. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, they'll do it next time. Thank you all for being here hot, for Hot Topics today. By the way, Hot Topics brought to you by the word loquacious. Loquacious. <laughs> hot, hot Topics. topics. <laughs> <laughs> um, please come on again soon. We love you.